welcome to a new vlog, everybody. It is a beautiful day in New York. It is a Saturday. It's like 70 degrees and sunny, as you can see. And we are on our way to a street festival, which is not super far from where we live. So we've got Nick is with us. Hello. <laughs> sunny. And Very David sunny. is with us too. Hannah is actually out with our friend, her friends. She was actually the one that told us about this street festival. So that's why we're going. I will flip the camera around when we get closer to it and you can experience it with us. Oh, and by the way, we are testing out the Fendi sandals for the first time. Send your good thoughts. Sun is shining, wind blows through my hair, car is moving fast, down the freeway, to anywhere, we are going somewhere new tonight. That way, you know your best options. Yeah, but... Somebody else's rating may not be the same as yours, so that's If you get enough ratings, the data will probably be pretty good. So there's food, looks like there's like things to buy, so yeah, so we've got some chachi things over there, got some jewelry kind of stuff. Yeah, looked like there were just a few things of food and then now we're into the stuff. So, yeah, I'm sure there's more food, but I was just saying. Yeah, we got some tchotchke stuff as we would call it, you know. Bone cases, plastic crap, bone cords, belts. Bedrooms, two and a half baths, 5.2 million. Six bedrooms, oh. seven baths, 12.5. Oh, wow. But that's the asking. I'm sure they'll come down. As a matter of fact, that you told me that everything in that price range and higher is going at big discounts. It's going what? Big discounts. Oh. oh. So there you are. Any of you are in the market for a, what'd you say, seven bedroom? 
six, six, be six bedrooms, seven, seven baths. Bed, six bedrooms. Well, so my price was almost right because I it, I said half. Like I, yeah. it was you know I was doing a smaller unit. Anyway, six bedrooms, seven bath. What was it? Twelve. Twelve five. Twelve five. But it's bargain. Daddy, that would probably go for like nine. Oh, but you could probably get it for nine. So if you're in if you're thing. in the market, drop me a uh, comment. I'll get you the phone number. Anyway, we're walking up to the park. We enjoyed the street fair. We didn't end up eating there. We ended up watch out. going. Gotta watch out for dog poop when you walk here. Um, but we ended up eating at this burger place that Nick had been wanting to try. And now he went with his friends. They were going down to Soho. But yeah, it's a it's like I said, such a beautiful day. I took off my jacket because I was warm. Anyway, we're going to walk a little oh, bit along the park and take a look at the beautiful foliage of the park. I think we missed, well, I know we missed the cherry blossoms. But anyway, I'll flip you around and show you the park. done by a bird yeah pretty sure pretty sure that's what that is it's a good thing I'm like a block from home ew it's like okay ew anyway I was coming on film to tell you about the status of my of the shoes which they're doing fine um ugh, gross anyway they're fine I would not probably recommend walking miles in them as I did today I mean I don't think I have any blisters, but you know, probably shouldn't have worn them quite this long for the very first, you know, the uh, maiden voyage, as we would say. So anyway, all right, I'm going to go because this is really gross and uh, go upstairs and wash things. Ew. Hey friends, welcome back to the vlog. I am out and about. It is a beautiful day. It is lunchtime, so I am actually going to Dry Bar to get another blowout. Could this become a thing? I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> so, I'll let you all know. Uh, you didn't see last week's reveal. I am carrying the new Celine Romy, Rumi, whatever you want to call it. I am loving it. It is, it has been on repeat all week. I mean, it's midweek, so it's not like it's been that long. And I am very excited because I just got a text from Andrew, my Chanel SA on the 57th Street flagship store, and he is back. So very excited to see that. Happy that he is hopefully recovered from his injuries and but he is back in boutique which is great and launch day for 23a is on june 5th so i think i may make an appointment with him to go see what is new for that collection i don't even know i have not been super up on the chanel 
launches. I haven't. I need to go watch the runways for 23A. I guess probably 23B and 23K. Anyway, I just need to go check those out because honestly, I don't even really know what's coming. I've been so focused on Fendi that I honestly haven't been paying attention. So, in one of the Facebook groups that I am on, they have like albums of all of the items that are coming and they have it like months in advance. So I'll go check that out. Maybe I'll do that while I'm getting my hair done. So anyway, I will check in when I'm at the salon at Dry Bar and show you the progress. you just saw like a little outdoor seating area but one of the things I wanted to comment on in here is another one this one is not quite as pretty but one of the things that came out of the pandemic in New York as a result were setting up these kind of outdoor eating spaces because obviously for quite a long time you know New York was hit very very badly especially in the beginning of the pandemic and they, in order to try to keep restaurants alive, the city allowed them to put these outdoor seating areas in where there's normally parking. And apparently they're just letting them be there. So it's one of the things that I love about New York, especially now, it really gives it sort of a European flavor to it. You know, when I think of Europe, when, especially when I think of Paris, I think of all of the outdoor bistros and places where you can just sit and have a coffee or a glass of wine, enjoy a book, or honestly, just people watch. So anyway, just thought I would throw that in there as I was walking up to Dry Bar, just because that was such a beautiful restaurant with their florals. There's another one over there but anyway all right i need to figure out where i'm going here so this dry bar is actually in the same building as rumble which i think is like a boxing or kickboxing place anyway but it's on the third floor so yeah i'm excited
all that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. We're at Nordstrom now. I'm still looking for shorts. I mean, I do Possibly. have a pair now. We got one pair. Um, I don't know, I guess start down on that end and work your way this way since I don't know where anything is. Hey friends, so I am testing out wearing a microphone while I'm out and see if that helps with the audio. So I'm outside right now. It's obviously very noisy out here. I am on Fifth Avenue, but I'm on my way to Saks. So anyway, let's test out this audio. Okay, so the microphone seems like it's working pretty well, which is good. All right, we are just across the street from Sack, so I will flip the window, flip the window, flip the camera around, and we will look at the windows to see what we've got, because I haven't been here in a while since I was sick, so let's take a look. A lot of green. It's pretty. Ooh, some beautiful Luebe and Zimmerman in the middle. Alejandro Alonso Rojas on the left. That Zimmerman piece is just beautiful. And I love the tassels on the Lueve. Jason Wu, Tove, and Gabriella Hurst. Really, really bright, very intense colors. We have some pink corals. We got Etro on the right, Jacquemus in the middle and Stella McCartney on the left. And here we have the Bendy Mark Jacobs collab. So hopefully we'll be able to see some ready to wear pieces. That's the men's denim jacket and the, looks like, can't tell if those are leather pants, but very cool. And here we have the women's denim jacket cute and i love the way they did this denim maxi skirt where they did it like flipped around so it looks backwards here we have that jacket sorry i'm trying to get away from the glare there we go the women's sort of baguette jacket and the matching cargo pants those are cute those look like they're in linen and the big chunky shoes and of course she's got the neon Peekaboo, and here we've got that little bustier. Let me get that to focus. The bustier, and then the maxi skirt again, and the oh my god, you guys, they have the maxi baguette. All right, I am absolutely gonna have to try that in person. And then they've got that new the uh, add-on strap that does not come with it, but it's got little mini tiny little baguettes with little crystals on it oh my gosh so excited to see the denim in person we have some more men's looks kind of a classic piece with the that sort of degradé peekaboo and this is the it looks like the oversized sweatshirt hoodie and a Fendi sunshine chopper tote all right, let's go inside and take a look. All right, so we've got Celine here. Might try some sunglasses over here. Look at what Fendi has sort of sitting out. So we have the sunshine tote in the denim. And then this is the quilted leather Fendi first. And then up top we have the denim Fendi first. So you've got the standard, the flat white baguette with the, the baguette on it, the black. 
And of course, this is from the men's collection in the felt. <laughs> and then that is the maxi version of it. And then it's also got the nano on the side here, which is super cute. We've got the Fendi Aroma display here. I have to say, this sweatshirt is pretty cute. Although I have to say, it's not, it's kind of rough to the touch. So, I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of the way it feels, but it looks super cute. Then here again is the denim skirt. You can really see the detail on this now. You can see the Fendi and the denim. And then here's the t-shirt. I'm gonna try that. That's cute. Let's see if this... Again, it's really stiff, you guys. I wonder if it would soften up when you washed it. That's the men's denim jacket, the shorts, and then got one of the little sweaters on underneath. There's a peekaboo. All right, so I am going to go into Louis Vuitton to check out the new collection. The Mono Glam collection has been released today. Let's go take a look. Let's see the Speedy 20s. Here's that pink. So cute. Never seen that bag before. And the white, that blue is really pretty. I'm kind of looking for a blue bag, but I'm gonna look at the monoglam in the Speedy 20, which they have over on the shelf. Here's the new little mini bum bag. Eh, not a fan. So I went to go try on the Monogram collection, as I mentioned, and the piece that I really wanted to try on they did have, which was the Speedy 20, and this is in the blue Monogram. It also comes in a gold color. However, I think the gold is in the Nano Speedy instead of the 20. So you can see it, I had it handheld there, and then here it is crossbody. The one thing that I will tell you that I don't like about this bag very much is that they didn't take the zipper down the sides like they do on the traditional Speedy 20. So I have the one in monogram, and my zipper goes down the sides, and it's much easier to get into. So this Speedy 20 in the pink emprunt leather, which I also really liked, does have the zipper that goes down the sides on each side. So this one has, you know, two zippers, just like the original monogram version does, but the monogram one only has one zipper. And I do really like how they did the chain, the strap on this on prompt leather version. It's got, you know, some of the gold chain then attached to the leather piece that goes obviously across your shoulder. And then I had to try on the Loop Hobo bag. I am loving this bag. It is so versatile and I just love all of the details about it. I really like the crossbody too. It's cute. Cute bag. I love how it's you know, kind of treated leather as opposed to the Vachetta. Clearly clashing here, but. This was another piece that came out for pre-fall. It is the mini capucines, and it's in this like perforated, almost like embroidery on glaze type fabric, but it's leather, obviously, but it's beautiful. I was really hoping that they would have the Alma in this style. It came in this beautiful fuchsia pink, but I don't think the United States bought it. Let's take a look at the Chanel windows. It's sort of an old school like the Timeless CC walk. It's interesting. Pretty blouse. Some jewelry and then looks like a sort of a very mini vanity. Let's go back to Fendi. Let's see the mini sun and shine totes. 
So here is the maxi baguette. This is actually in canvas. I originally thought that this was in white leather, but it's actually in a canvas. It is very, very stiff, not a fan. This is the small I See You Peekaboo in the denim print and really, really pretty. I do like the size of the small. I'm not sure that this is the one particular one I would go for if I was gonna choose that size, but you know, it was nice to see what the denim sort of jacquard felt like in person. Unfortunately, they could not let me see the denim baguette that was in the window until they pulled the windows down a couple weeks later. And this is the little nano baguette, so cute. the jacquard in the black and white and here is that really interesting sequin the handy in the leather so they actually had the little nano baguette in the denim which i didn't think actually got released but I have to say, I don't love it. I, I just think that the little top handle is a little too much. It's just not me. And then I, of course, had to move over to Lueve. I had to check out one of their new summer basket bags. I am loving the style. This is the either small or mini size. I can't remember which one, but I love that it has a crossbody strap. And then obviously it's got the top handles, so you have options of how you want to wear it. Okay, so I cannot stand these people in sacks, they're like, sort of like roaming salespeople that can sell like at all of the different boutiques. And oh my God, they're so annoying. They were like, she literally would not leave me alone. Drove me insane. Look at all the fun raffia bags. Here's Kate and Isabel Morant. Lots of people mimicking the original Lueve basket bag. Called Gaia, Stella McCartney, and of course the Chloe. So all these are 30% off. Woven leather for Tory Burch. Sparkly little bags that kind of resemble the Prada. Those are Alexander Wang. Eh, nothing much here floats my boat, but just thought I'd show you. Some Alaya bags. I love this little baby cut up one. There's actually this one, which is even smaller. Tiny little thing. That's cute. It's a cute size. Okay, and then this one just scares me. I mean, it's not sharp, but it would not be comfortable. And this, how do we feel about this, folks? Not a fan. Definitely like the laser cut of Alaya, not the uh, spikes. Okay, so here we have the nylon jacket and the matching track pants. This actually is really cool. It's padded, it's like quilted on the inside. So actually probably would be a little warmer. Here's the mini skirt. This feels horrible, not gonna lie. And that, this is the other like nylon, AKA members only. Now this I have to say, oh, this is what I tried on you guys at the uh, Soho Boutique. Very cool. And then here, it's another one in the black and white. Oh, here's the t-shirt. 
So Brandon just said I need to size down one, but it is. You see the hand on it, guys? It's kind of stiff. I don't think it would drape very well. I'd be curious to know what the other one is like. Oh, no, this is cool, you guys. This oversized bomber is very cool. Let me put it here so I can. That is very cool. I did not have my Frankie shop one. This would have been a very, very cool alternative. It's 30, 3190. And then here. Oh my god, it is really heavy, you guys. This weighs a ton. Wow. That would be really uncomfortable to wear, not gonna lie. Okay, so here is the more cropped boxy one. Again, the same fabric, but it seems like it would be better in this because you want it kind of boxy. This one is 720. And you can see the details on it. It's kind of cut up at the neck. So it's putting on the hemline here, so it's supposed to look distressed. It's a, another go-to jacket. This is a sweater. So here is the cropped one. It's a really thick fabric, and like I said, that black one was crazy heavy. So my last stop at Saks was Louis Vuitton ready to wear because I was heavily, heavily influenced by Meredith to come look at these oversized cardigans from, I think, spring, summer? I don't remember. Whatever the collection was before the one that just dropped, but that had all the oversized, like, key bells and stuff. So the original one I tried on you saw was the extra small. This is the small. Uh, they are definitely oversized, um, and I love the oversized buttons on them. This is in the gray, and I just think it's such a classic piece. They did also have the four button, so if you don't know, Meredith, I believe, has both pieces in the three button and the four button. They only have the four button in the small, and yeah, I like them both. I really thought that the four button could actually be used as like a good fall coat, so I can't tell you how many times I tried on both of these cardigans, like probably 17 times each. I'm sure the guy just thought I was nuts, but I could not for the life of me decide which one I liked better and which one I would get more use out of. More to come on that. Thank you. Hey friends, editing Lisa here. I apologize, I did not do an official outro for that video, the vlog that you just watched. It was filmed over quite a bit of time. I did have uh, the C word sickness for about a week or so. After we went to that street fair, a couple days later I tested positive, so it was filmed over quite a bit of time, so I it's kind of a little discombobulated, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would love it if you would give the video a thumbs up. That really does help. And yeah, I just, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the Fendi, Marc Jacobs, you know, collab pieces. That was my first time seeing them in person. So I was very, very excited about that. And of course, I loved seeing some of the new Louis Vuitton pieces, both the Monoglam and of course, some of that ready to wear. Make sure you are subscribed because you don't want to miss what maybe I might have picked up while I was shopping that day. So anyway, definitely stay tuned for that. So click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. But thanks again for watching. I hope wherever you are, you are having an amazing day or evening and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys.